Hello and welcome back to Dr. Logic Awkwardly Does Logic with a Cat. In this video, I'm going to give you two definitions for how to handle variables in the context of a quantified model. So our original setup that we had had the domain of discourse that gave us all of our objects and an interpretation function that told us how to deal with all of the bits of our, of our language, all of the non-logical bits, the constants, function symbols, relations. What we need to do now is say what to do with the variables, because we have as our basic atomic sentences, we can either apply the predicates and the relations to constants, or we can do it to variables or to functions building up from them. So we would need to start off with something called a variable assignment. And a variable assignment, let's bring up the whiteboard. Oops, let's clear it from last time. We have a definition of a variable assignment. Every model will come with one of these to start off with. But as we will see when we start defining truth conditions, which variable assignment we use can change. So first, let's find out, start off with what exactly one is. So we say that little v, kind of in an italics, though it's hard to represent in handwriting, is a variable assignment for a model. And remember, we'll use this kind of curly capital M and a model is a pair consisting of a domain and an interpretation. If it is a function from the set of variables in our language, to the domain D. So we will say things like the variable assigns to X some particular object in our domain, or the variable assignment assigns to Y some other object in our domain. So here, let's say that we have our domain here. It consists of two cats. There's a brown stripy one, and there is a orange solid one. So our variable assignments could be such that maybe it assigns y to the orange one, and it assigns x to the brown one. The variable assignment doesn't have to assign distinct objects to distinct variables. It could assign all of the variables the same object, or it could assign uh, different objects to, uh, to every variable. But that's what an, a variable assignment is. The second definition that we have is the notion of one variable assignment being a variant of another. But we're going to specify in what way it is a variant. It's going to be a variant because of what it assigns to a single variable. So this is the notion of an X variant. So here we had our variable assignments and here we have the notion of an X variant. So oops, a variable assignment V prime is going to be an X variant of some variable assignment V if V prime and V agree on everything, so what they assign to all of the variables is the same, except perhaps what they assign, they assign to variable X. So they don't have to differ on X. So every variable assignment is an X variant of itself. Every variable assignment is also a Y variant itself. So a Y variant is just an assignment that assigns everything the same except potentially what it assigns to Y. So here we've got our variable assignments, uh, V that sends X to the brown cat and V to the, uh, sorry, X to the brown cat and Y to the orange cat. 
If we have a variable assignment v prime that takes uh, x to the brown cat and y to the orange cat, v and v prime are x variants of each other, even though they are the same, because they agree on everything except possibly, except perhaps x. And in this case, they also agree on x. Consider the variable assignment v double prime, though, which assigns x to the orange cat and keeps y assigned to the orange cat as well. And then, strictly speaking, we should be saying what happens to all of the other uh, variables as well. So let's just say, in all cases, all others are orange, just for completeness' sake. Now, v prime is a variant of both, uh, sorry, v double prime is a variant of v prime and of v with respect to x. One last one, let's call this one v star. It assigns to x the brown cat and it assigns to y the brown cat. Now, v star is not an x variant of v because it doesn't keep fixed what we assign to y. V star is, however, a y variant of v because what is assigned to x hasn't changed and what has assigned to y potentially, and in this case, has. Let me try just one more example. This is gonna be V double star, and this assigns X to the orange cat and Y to the brown cat. Now, if you compare V and V double star, neither is an X variant of the other and neither is a Y variant of the other. And that is because more has changed than just possibly what has been assigned to X and what has possibly been assigned to y. So sit down and write out some variable, you know, pick a domain, do some variable assignments, make some x and y variants of it, just so that you get a sense of how these definitions work. Once we start applying them, they'll be really straightforward and you'll be able to see why it is we have defined them the way that we have, because crucially, they are going to be what get us going with giving truth conditions for the quantifiers. And that's going to be our next topic, actually telling you how to determine whether a predicate language sentence is true on an uh, auto model or not. So take care. See you then. Look for looking forward to it. Cheers. <laughs>